Hi, Gary. Thanks for joining me. Good to be here. Good to be here. I really have loved this series we've been doing on favorite verses. And uh, like we shared in church, you and I share of one of our favorite verses. Uh, why don't you read it for us? Yeah, so this is uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Uh, this is Jesus speaking. He says, give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the me measure you use, it will be measured to you. Oh, gosh, I love that. Uh, just the, the image of all that generosity and all that that needs and wants fulfilled without even maybe even asking for them. But I really thought it was interesting. He notes that give and it will be given to you. So you kind of have to give first. Um, and you and I were talking earlier. We love this whole section of Luke. It's just a really good... Um, I think it's a Sermon on the Mount, and uh, this really reminds me of uh, around verse 34. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus says, do you lend things only to people who will give you your things back to you? So do you give and expect them to give back? And here he's saying, if you give, it'll be given to you. You don't have to worry about it. And I thought that was really comforting to think, if I just give, I don't have to really worry about having enough because God will make sure that I get enough back. Right. I think so often uh, we think, uh, you know, I've got this stuff. It's a you know, certain amount of stuff I can see. And if I give it away, I don't have it anymore. And, and yet uh, God is generous. He has an infinite amount of stuff. And if we give yeah. things away, he can replenish what, he's, uh, what we've given away. And he wants us to, to be generous. So. Absolutely. And uh, one of the things that uh, I think we had talked a little bit about was um, we were talking earlier is you know, right now, a lot of us have a lot of stress about, do we have enough? Do we have enough food in the house? Do we have enough toilet paper? Do we have enough things to see us through? And this is saying, don't worry about it. Make sure that you look to see what other people need. You know, give to those people. And, you know, he'll, God will make sure that you get what you need if you're making sure that other people have what they need. Another verse that uh, we talked, we really liked, verse 35. Part of verse 35 says that you want to just do good things. Lend and don't expect to get them back. So let people borrow your stuff and don't get too worked up about asking for it back. And then even be kind to people who don't say thank you, which is a really hard thing sometimes, especially we're really trained to say thank you. And sometimes it's weird when people don't say thank you. That's true, right? And, and But then I, I suppose if you look from God's perspective, think of all the things he does for us every day. And we don't always thank him, right? We, That's we true. sort of take it for granted. And, uh, we do. So I guess one of the things that we could do to thank God is to give to other people without expecting anything back, just like he does for us. Exactly, yeah. And that could be something simple like time. You don't have to necessarily give stuff. If you have a few extra minutes, you could call a friend and check in and make sure they're doing okay. Right. Yeah, and time is one of those things we become very aware of. Just, I've only got 24 hours. <laughs> if I give it away, that's less for me. And yet exactly. somehow uh, God takes that gift of time that we give to other people and he somehow multiplies it. And, and I know, it's amazing. And blessed through that. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we're going to give everyone a little more time in a few weeks. Uh, we're going to do uh, whole um, family faith formations on Luke 638. And we're even going to talk a little bit about French fries and jars full of rocks and how that's going to relate to this verse and how we accept God's gifts and how we talk about giving them back. French fries and rocks, somehow they're related. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I will see you then, Gary. I'm uh, looking forward to it. See you then. Enjoy. Bye.